What's going on guys? Welcome to today's tutorial where we're going to learn about getting the user's profile picture and their name, some information about the person using our application. Uh, I don't know who this crazy sexy looking guy is, but if I was a woman, I'd probably do him and uh, like his name too. Anyways, that's what we're going to create, so it's not too bad. Let's jump into it. Oh, spoiler alert. Let's delete that and uh, well, we can leave that. Basically all I've done is I've created uh, within our menu screen I just added an ID to our text view because we're going to say like welcome and then the person's name and again we're going to work with our image view. So let's jump back over to the starting point class. Make sure you set up your new text view reference. I called it welcome. That's the only difference. Um, from there we're going to jump into it. And what we're going to do is we're going to call within this update method, if the Facebook session is available, we're going to do all of our information to get the profile picture and the person's name and all that stuff. And if it's not available, we're going to just set our picture uh, or image view visibility to be invisible. So obviously right away we can set our picture uh, visibility within the Facebook valid session here to be image view not visible. All right. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to work with JSON and parsing some data. That's how we're going to uh, do it with the Facebook stuff. So let's create a new JSON object. And we're just going to call this OBG for ob and uh, set that to null. We're also going to need our URL. That's going to be the specific image view URL. So we're just going to say image, um, image value, image URL, something like that. Uh, set that equal to null as well. Now what we want to do is we want to set up a string value. This is going to be our JSON uh, of the user themselves. So we're going to say JSON user and we're going to set this equal to a Facebook request. Um, again our Facebook object and we say request and we can actually ask for some specific information. So since we're trying to get the information of the user that key value is called me. We'll get into the other references of using other people's ID and getting their information as well. But as for now, we're just working with the person using the application. So we're going to make a request to Facebook for the user of me, so the person using the application. Next thing we want to do is set up our object. Uh, so we're going to set this equal to be the util class dot parse JSON, and we need a string value. So we're going to refer to that JSON user that we just set up previously. And it's the 4th of July right now right when I'm recording this tutorial so you might hear some explosions and stuff just just to let you know that and the next thing that we want to do is we want to set up a string reference and again I'll explain all this stuff after we're completed but we're going to refer to the JSON object and we're going to say dot or opt string as you can see it returns the value mapped by name if exist uh, you can read the information again we'll kind of explain everything as we go or after we're finished here but we're going to say option string and we're going to refer to the ID. And now that's just the reference that we're looking for, the person's ID. Because if you go over to Facebook, let me see, Facebook. I don't know if they still have it the way that they used to, but um, up here you can get some information about the user. I'm not for sure. This is their ID you can see right there. Um, so this is my specific ID. It's going to return that value. So anything I do on Facebook, it kind of looks, uh, it has this connection of the ID value link to it. So that's kind of how it works. And so we're, what we're doing here with this JSON or the string is we're pulling from JSON, parsing some data, looking for the ID within the Facebook of the user me, obviously. So it's going to return that number. And then what we're going to do is also uh, parse some other information. So we're going to refer to our name. Again, we refer to the JSON object, opt string again, and this time we're going to look for the name. So Facebook kind of have, has stuff laid out like you'd expect. If you're looking for an ID, the call is for an ID. If you're looking for the person's name, you call name. And uh, then we're just setting that value into a string reference. So already we have the name of the user, and we do have some errors. We're going to have to surround this with some tries and catches and stuff. but. Uh, we already have the name of the user. It's that simple, just parsing some JSON's data. And so we're going to refer to our welcome um, screen or welcome text view. And we're just going to say set text uh, to, I don't know, welcome and then plus the name. 
that we return from the JSON object here. Seriously, it's that simple, guys. Uh, so the next thing that we want to do is actually get the profile picture. And we can get some of the profile pictures or some of the pictures of the user with that ID. But we have to refer to the Facebook graph uh, URL. And I'm probably just going to cut the tutorial here. We're almost done. Um, but I just want to explain everything thoroughly in the next tutorial. I want to make sure I have enough time to do that. So this is the basic setup. Obviously, we have to surround this with a try and catch to get rid of these errors. Actually, in this tutorial, let's just finish this. So we're going to say surround with try and catch. And then we're going to move this JSON user line within the try. And we're going to add a catch exception. Uh, so we're going to say add catch clause. And there we go. Uh, so now we have everything else set up. Let's move this stuff within the try as well, just just because, you know, doesn't matter. So uh, there we go. Now we can actually return the value of uh, the person's name that's using the application. So thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next tutorial where we're going to parse the picture itself and set that to the image view. So thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you then.